In this video, I'll give you some tips for the post-lab assignment for lab four esters. The first two questions have to do with the melting point of your substance. So first you're just gonna report the melting point of your, of your product, your aspirin. Question number two talks a little bit about how we can use the melting point to determine whether or not the sample was pure. If your sample is pure, based on, based on the stuff that I highlighted here, if your sample is pure, you don't have to answer question number two. You can just move on. If your sample was not pure based on these criteria right here, then I want you to propose an explanation for why your sample is not pure. Question number three, you're gonna write an equation to show how acetic anhydride reacts with salicylic acid to make aspirin and asks what is the other product of this reaction. This problem is gonna be easier for you to solve if you do this using the chemical structures rather than using a balanced chemical equation. Um, so by that, I mean, I want you to draw, or I suggest that you draw the structure of acetic anhydride. There it is, that's acetic anhydride. And then I want you to draw the structure of salicylic acid and draw the structure of aspirin. And these two, you can just look up um, in your textbook, uh, in your notes probably, or also just, just Google it on the internet. And then it's also asking you for the other product. What is the other product of this reaction? The structure of it, and it's also gonna be really helpful um, for question number four, it's gonna be really helpful if you identify what this substance is. Question number four asks you why old aspirin sometimes smells like vinegar and big hint, it has to do with this other product that's being formed in this reaction. And then last but not least, I'm giving you the structure of an ester and I want you to come up with the structure of an alcohol and a carboxylic acid that could be used to synthesize this ester.